Hello, we are here to present you a series of video tutorials on how to use El Rosa Diamond Inspector. El Rosa Diamond Inspector device is produced by El Rosa Technology, part of the El Rosa Group. After these tutorials, you will be able to correctly measure your diamonds as well as have a deep understanding of how the device works. Inside the device kit, every device is delivered in a convenient case. Despite this, be careful when using the device, as it contains fragile optical components. Avoid dropping or hitting the device and case. Inside the case, you will find a CD with a user guide, device, power adapter, power cable, mechanic holder, and blue tack pack that can be used as a holder. You can also buy a video holder for complicated cases. Getting started and first turning on. It is very easy to start using the device. You need to interconnect the adapter and the power cable and connect them to the power supply. Power the device using the power switch on its side panel. When the device switches on, we see the light indicator of the measure button turning on and software loading. The word loading appears on the display. After loading, the display text changes to ready to work. Switching the device language. We can choose the interface language. The language switch button is right under the cover. Press the button. Text will appear on the device display corresponding to the chosen language, Russian or English. Measuring. El Rosa Diamond Inspector is designed to identify colorless and near colorless polished diamonds and diamonds in jewelry. Possible colors vary from D to J according to GIA scale. Термин почти бесцветный относится только к желтому цвету бриллианта в диапазоне от D до K и не относится к голубому, зеленому, розовому и другим малоинтенсивным цветам. The device identifies diamonds with traditional cutting shapes such as round 57 facet, marquees, pear, oval, heart and others. The diamond size may vary from 0.03 to 10 carats. It is important that the diamond has a flat, round facet with a diameter of or more than 1.5 millimeters. So, our device is ready to take measurements. Let's test a single diamond. The diamond facet surface must be clean, so we recommend you use tweezers. If you hold the diamond with your fingers, they may leave greasy marks on the diamond surface. You can clean up the diamond using a silk or cotton cloth, but a more reliable way is to use a special cloth for optical surfaces. Let's open the device cover. We can see a pad with a small target and a hole. Let's use tweezers to pick up the diamond by its girdle so that the table faces down. Now let's put it into the target center. The table should cover the target hole. Let's close the cover and press the measure button to start the measuring process. The display shows the words measuring 0%. The process has started. The device tests the diamond within 45 seconds using three optical methods. When the measuring process is over, the result is shown on the display. The device is showing the correct result, natural diamond. In order to start another measuring process, we need to press the measure button. The device will switch to ready to work mode. It is now possible to start another measuring process. Let's use other stones to show which results can be obtained with the help of the device. We are going to take a synthetic diamond grown by HBHT technology and put it into the device. Here is the measurement result. Type 2A, refer to lab. The same way we are going to put a synthetic diamond grown by CVD technology into the device. The measurement result is type 2A, refer to lab. Природные алмазы бывают различных типов, и лишь малая часть, полтора-два процента, относится к типу 2А. При этом все синтетические алмазы относятся именно к этому типу. 
Поэтому, получив такой результат, обретитесь в геологическую лабораторию. Только там вы сможете со стопроцентной точностью определить, является ли камень природным или синтетическим. Let's take a natural type 2A diamond and test it in the device. As we can see, the result is predictable. Type 2A, refer to lab. If the diamond has been enhanced, the device will show the result treated. Последний образец, скорее всего, является алмазом со следами искусственной обработки. При этом следует учитывать, что при естественном росте алмаза в земной коре иногда могут возникать условия, аналогичным условиям термообработки алмазов. Поэтому данный результат является практически однозначным свидетельством лабораторной обработки. If a diamond fluoresces or has a non-typical luminescence, the device may show the result need investigation. Let's take a cubic zirconia which is a synthesized stone and tested using the device. The result is simulant. Now let's test a moissanite. The result again is simulant. The same way one can test glass, quartz, spinel, topaz, amethyst and other brilliant cut stones. The device will show the same result, simulant. Testing a diamond in jewelry. The device kit includes several types of jewelry holders, a mechanic holder and blue tack. You can also buy a video holder for the most complicated cases. Let's take a look at different types of jewelry. For example, this ring. We're going to put it into the device so that the diamond table covered the target hole. As we can see, the ring is in a stable position and doesn't need any holders. The measurement result is stimulant. Now let's look at a ring with the display center of gravity. We can use a mechanic holder to fix it. We're putting a holder onto the pad under the device cover. The holder consists of several parts. A frame with rod, ball with adjusting screw, and holder with alligator clip. We're fixing the ring, adjusting the holder configuration, trying to hit the target center, and fixing the position by tightening the screw. It is important for the diamond table to tightly adjoin the target hole and not to be skewed. Closing the cover, make sure the holder doesn't interfere. Otherwise, the cover will not close fully or the holder will shift. The measurement result is natural. If you want to fix an unsteady piece of jewelry and the mechanic holder is not convenient, you can use blue tack. It is similar to Play-Doh but greaseless, so it doesn't leave any marks on hands or jewelry. Let's put the ring into the device and fix it in the right position using blue tack. The measurement result is natural. Let's take one more ring. We can see small diamonds here. By eye, it is very difficult to position them to cover the target hole. For such cases, we have provided for an additional device, a video holder. Let's switch on the video holder and wait for its display to show the imaging from the video camera. We can see a mark on the display. Now, let's put the ring into the video holder so that the diamond table center was on the mark and fix the ring in this position. Now, let's reposition the upper part of the video holder into the device and measure the diamond. The measurement result is natural. Pay special attention. In order to avoid incorrect measurements, the following should be taken into consideration. The stone surface must fully cover the measurement pad. If you place the jewelry item so that the target hole is opposite metal and not the diamond, the device may measure the item and show the result simulant or check stone, depending on the metal surface properties. If you forget to put the stone onto the target center and start measurement, the device may show the result check stone. Test only colorless or near colorless samples. Avoid vibrations and moving the device during testing. Only polished cut diamonds can be tested. Do not test rough diamonds. Test samples two or three times to increase test validity. 
Safety measures. Laser is used inside the device, so you should not open the device cover during testing. Laser radiation is not safe for your health. However, we built in sensors into the device cover which will switch the laser off if you try to open the cover during testing. If you press the button when the cover is not closed, the display will show the words close cover. Operating conditions and device care. El Rosa Diamond Inspector is designed for use indoors at the temperatures from minus 5 to plus 23 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 60% or less. Avoid heating the device by sunlight or nearby objects, such as household appliances or pipes. It may lead to the device overheating and working incorrectly. The device frame is not airtight, which is why you should avoid its contact with liquids. El Rosa Diamond Inspector doesn't need any special care. Use regular napkins to wipe away the dust. El Rosa Diamond Inspector has EAC certificate for Eurasian Economic Union countries and CE Declaration of Conformity for European Union countries. Warranty Servicing and Calibration The device has a 12-month manufacturer's warranty. There is an optional extended warranty at extra cost. We recommend you to send the device to our service center annually for checkups. The device is calibrated automatically at switch on. Device power supply by accumulator. The most reliable way to power the device is from power network, but there are situations when there are no sockets within your reach. In such cases, you can power the device using a power bank. Please make sure the power bank is fully charged and has power supply specifications of two amperes and five volts. Switching off the device. To switch off the device after measurements, just turn the switch to off position. The device will turn off immediately. The display and button will go out. Then pull the plug out of the socket. It is not recommended to switch off the device or pull the plug out in the process of measurements. Now you have got to know the device really well and know how to use it properly. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to consult our specialists using these contact details. El Rosa Diamond Inspector is your regular assistant in jewelry stores, pawn shops, and at business transactions. Buy El Rosa Diamond Inspector and check your diamonds fast, easily, and reliably.